All right, how about the Pittsburgh Steelers? The Pittsburgh Steelers find a way to win the game. Listen, you know, say what you want. They did enough. I thought Kenny Pickett looked better in this game. We're going to talk about him in this video. I, still, there's some work that needs to be done offensively. No denying it. But, you know, weeks one, I thought week one was awful. I thought week two was, you know, not a disaster, but still not great. This, we started to see more and more of the Kenny Pickett that we saw last year, in my opinion. So let's talk about the good and the bad that we saw from him. Let's start off with this play. What's going to happen here is this is the big one, the touchdown to sort of start things off where uh, it's you know, man coverage, cover one play, but you see the safety and how far they're shaded over towards the left side of the screen. I mean, they're just on that side of the field. That's what they're doing right here. Uh, you have Pickens on that side of the field. Uh, I didn't even have to check uh, before beforehand, but uh, you just know that's what they're doing. And yes, it is Pickens. I double checked right now as we're doing it. Uh, of course, it's Pickens. That's what they're doing. That's why they have the safety over there. But because of that, what this means is that you have one-on-one -on -one matchups down the field. Pickett notices all of this. And so he's going to say, hey, I got to go out with Austin on the other side. He's pretty fast. Let's see what happens. So Pickett's going to take the snap right here. You look down the field and yeah, this isn't just a little open. This is a lot open. And so, you know, okay, this is an easy decision. This is a simple read really, but you still have to be able to make the throw and make the read. As you see, that's going to be exactly what he does. Calvin Austin is able to make the grab and ends up getting into the end zone for a big touchdown to open the scoring for Pittsburgh. And that was definitely the, the big highlight reel level play, the one that you couldn't make a highlight reel of this game without this play. Was it the most difficult play? No. But again, you got to be able to make those throws. You got to be able to hit the throws that you need to hit. And that's what Pickett did there. Heading over here now, what's going to happen is that this is a, a zone coverage play. Uh, it's going to be cover two zone, and the concept is pretty simple. You have your outside receiver just run a deeper route, push Raiders players further deep, and then your halfback's going to run out to the flat. That's what he's going to do. That's the way this play is designed to work. Except, you see on the screen, I have it that the halfback is running to the flat, but then running further deep, which is just not usually how this concept goes. Watch as one picket takes the snap. He's expecting a just a flat route. And if it does, you know, it's still not a great situation, I'm going to be honest. But you can at least gain a few yards uh, here. Uh, you know, it's still nothing spectacular. Peters does have a read on it. And, you know, maybe he knocks it away. Maybe he just gets a quick tackle. Uh, but here, the receiver just turned up field. I don't think this is on Pickett just because that concept, I, I usually don't, usually it's ran with a flat route. That's how I usually see it. But again, we aren't actually in the huddle. We don't know the play. Maybe they're getting a little creative with it. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. The Steelers offense isn't necessarily known for its creativity. So I would assume this is just a mix up. Peters just drops what would have been a pick six. You do have to wonder how that would have changed that game uh, early on had that been a pick six instead of a drop right there. So Pickett, it's weird because he gets away with one, but also it's not really his fault either. I, I don't think that's his fault. So how do you really define that play? At the end of the day, you just got to get on the same page. You got to have these miscommunications stop happening, quite frankly. Going over here, we were able to see Pickett kind of utilize his mobility. Definitely his legs are a big part of who he is, and we saw it like on this play. It's going to be the left tackle's block. Watch what's going to happen. Look, as you see, the uh, edge rusher is going to you know, do a good job of creating pressure. Not an amazing job, but a good job. So for Pickett, okay, in a bit of trouble. Doesn't love what he sees down the field, which would be a trend in this game at times. More on that later. But, you know, looks down the field. Uh, doesn't love what he sees, is under pressure. A lot of quarterbacks would be in trouble here. However, Pickett's going to be able to sort of do a spin move, get out of it, and is able to scramble up and pick up a first down. These are things that even in his poor games he's had this year, he still has shown flashes of this. This is still an aspect of who he is. And when he's at his best, it, he is utilizing his legs. That's a benefit towards his game, right? I feel like people only talk about mobile quarterbacks when we're talking about Fields or Lamar Jackson, but there's layers to it, right? You don't have to be those guys. You can be a a dancer. Daniel Jones, right? That's still a very good, you know, player who can utilize his legs. I could see Kenny Pickett being able to potentially, you know, still utilize his legs, even if that isn't necessarily his main selling point. Going over here, I said more on the, uh, you know, receivers not getting open. So let's just go there now. Uh, this play going to be a zone coverage play third down and seven here. Uh, you know, 
I would think just outside field goal range. Actually, spoiler alert, they would kick a field goal from here and hit it. But, uh, you know, you would think just outside field goal range, want to get the first down pretty, uh, you know, pre- seems pretty important here. Pickett's going to take the snap. He is going to look down the field. We are a few seconds into this play right now. We're actually uh, just closing in on three seconds. Not quite at three seconds, but close to three seconds. Pickett looks downfield. You know, this is about the time you get. Guys aren't getting open. Got to try and figure something out. Pickett tries to scramble, but Crosby's right there, so instead he just throws it away. That's the correct play by Pickett, I assume. Again, we can't see the, you know, no all-22 footage yet, so got to work with what we have. I assume that's the correct play from Kenny Pickett. But the more important thing to talk about, I think, is less about if it's the correct play or not and more about the just the, the, the frustrating situation he keeps getting put in having to have this happen. And again, it didn't happen every play, but there were just, there was some of this and things. I would like to see less of this when I'm watching Pittsburgh Steelers football. That's all. But going over here, when things worked, they worked. I mean, Kenny Pickett has always been, I think, I shouldn't say always, but the last year when he was at Pitt and then his rookie year, he's been very good at just running an offense. When guys are getting open, he hits those open players. This concept, it's a man coverage play. Just running uh, really a pick play here on third down and five, I guess rub route, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, you know, designed to get the receiver who's on the top of the screen, Pickens open, have a lot of traffic over the middle. Hopefully that can uh, disrupt the corner who's trying to make a play. Right when this play begins, a couple of things. I think you could argue this is just straight up uh, an illegal pick. I think you can make that argument. I don't know if uh, 11 there for Pittsburgh does a great job at pretending he's running a route, uh, which is kind of a dumb thing that you have to do anyway, but whatever. Uh, those things get uncalled all the time. Uh, and you know maybe someone disagrees with me. I'm sure someone in the comments does because someone in the comments disagrees with everything I say. But anyway, the main point of why I'm bringing this up uh, is you see that Pickens is open. There's a window, and I love where Pickett puts this football. Watch how not only can Pickens make the grab, but he can make the grab while continue running. That's exactly where you want to put that ball. It's almost like you know uh, passing a baton where he's able to just make, you know get it and continue at that top speed. He picks up a decent gain there. Uh, really good stuff on a key third down. Uh, you know, that's important uh, football, and those are the plays that we've seen Pickett continue to make at the NFL level. And like, even this one, where it's going to be a, it's a man coverage play, you know, this is another, just a good example of what allowed the Raiders to kind of get back in this one, of it's a, you know, a third down and eight, Pat Fryer move going against Nate Hobbs. I do have to question the decision, not of going towards fire move that's fine he's a good player but attacking Nate Hobbs here he's one of the Raiders better defensive players it just it feels like there is holes on this Raiders defense kind of a questionable decision there as you see uh Pickett is going to take the snap he fires towards fire move and there is I would say a little bit of a window like I can see why you make this throw Hobbs is turned away from the quarterback really I, I would like to see Pickett get this ball a little bit higher it's it's a tough throw it is and as you see, I mean, it just didn't quite get high enough. Fire move isn't quite able to make the play. Just these are the kind of things you have to be able to hit on. They just are. But, you know, he did make that throw at the end to sort of ice the game. He did some nice things as well. I would like to see him in better situations. But as a whole, a solid performance and maybe a stepping stone game for the 2-1 and one Steelers now. Uh, even with their kind of rough offensive start, still able to win some football games. That's obviously important. So, yeah, that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.